The USS Gerald R. Ford is back on the water this month as a part of the Make Ford Ready initiative launched by the Navy. After reports of mechanical and technological issues, the initiative is working to get the carrier ready for anything. That includes aircraft compatibility tests. Looks like they're doing some here. And we were invited aboard the ship to see what this training looks like up close. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott spoke with crew members and the captain about what's new and why they say they are more proud than ever. Guys, this has been the most incredible experience. I just got off the flight deck aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford where they're doing their aircraft compatibility testing. This is where the crew will be doing many tests over the next few months. Yeah, so we have this motto on our ship that we've been living to since the day I got here. And so we must prepare to deploy with our carrier strike group. Prepare to savage the enemy. We will be well trained, ready to fight. We are warship 7-8. Commanding Officer Captain J.J. Cummings runs a tight ship aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, especially while they are in the midst of aircraft compatibility testing. The aircraft landings are testing the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear, two systems unique to the carrier. Getting Ford ready, we'll be testing trial. We have a lot of stuff, systems we haven't exercised to its full extent, so we are working every day to figure that out. Get to see see uh, how the systems operate, how to develop operating procedures, tactical procedures, get our manning right, get stuff rolling such we see when we're on deployment. Uh, we know what parts we need, people we need, how we're going to execute and uh, get weapons and fuel to our aircraft. So um, we're working there. In all the trainings, there have also been great successes. In the last days, the aircraft saw the very first ever landing of an E-2D Hawkeye, a C-28 Greyhound, a T-45 Goshawks and the EA-18G Growler. Mehdi Akasim, who directs flight operations, says everything has been running smoothly and they're on the right track. We're still at the sort of base of the learning curve. Um, you know, there's lots of demonstration of reliability and repeatability that has to happen. Um, and the Navy's got a plan over many thousands of, of, of cycles of launches and recoveries to ensure that EMALS and AAG continue to become more reliable. Why is that? Safety. 100% safety to make sure that a aircraft that's fully loaded, full of gas, can launch and recover in a variety of environments and envelopes. Captain Cummings says these historic landings and successful training exercises makes it easy for him to feel pride. A lot of work has come to get us here today. I mean, I just think that probably decades of work on EMOLs, decades of work on that advanced arresting gear. Decades of work to put our, our engine rooms together on a new design, and then 15 months of work in the post shakedown availability to tighten up uh, some of the systems which needed a little bit of, of uh, smoothing out, and to see it all come together well, to do what the ship was designed to do, which is launch and recover aircraft. Extreme, extreme pride for our crew and for the aviators to come out here to, get, to support that. So, extremely proud of uh, the work being done by the team to get here, and we're pumped to keep pushing. Now, all of this will continue until the end of the month, but this is constantly a training and testing environment for future air operations. Aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, I'm Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.